You are welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy. Today we want to solve a problem involving polygons. And the problem goes like this. It says, construct a regular heptagon with a circle radius 60 mm. The corners of the heptagon must lie on the circle. There are two things you must put into consideration. The first one is a circle. Second one is the corners of the heptagon must touch the circle. It means that what? It is a cross corner. Right? So, and what is an heptagon? An heptagon is a polygon that has seven equal sides. Right? But this heptagon is constructed in a circle. So the first thing you do when you are to construct an heptagon in a circle is that, first of all, you draw your horizontal line this way, this way. You draw it this way. Let me put it here like this. Right, that is the center line. Now you measure the radius of the circle, which is given to be 60 millimeter and I'll place my compass on my meter rule from zero here to what to 60 right and I'll pick any point at the center here on this line where I'm going to draw the circle this way bent line also See that? This is what we have. Now the next thing is what you use to draw the circle, that point where it touched first that one part of the circle, I'll call it point A, while the other point is called what? Point B. Right? Now since the heptagon it has seven sides, we are going to divide A to B into seven using your line division method right so i will place my compass my ruler this way at any given radius and i'm going to draw an inclined line at any given angle right now i'll take my compass and place it on point a and i'll start marking one two three four five six and seven so the mark seven on this inclined line and i'm going to take my meter rule i'm going to join this point to this point here right i'll join a to b or better still i can use here Depending on what you want to do actually so I can use here or here any one of your choice and I'll join the last point B with the last point here this way you can see that then I'll place my rule on this point here right because if I place it here to block what I'm about to um, draw so I'll place it on this other side here. I'll start moving it on it. So I'll move to the next point. This way. I'll move to the next point. This way. I'll move to the next point this way I'll move to the next point this way you must take it one step at a time I'll move to the next point this way I'll move also to the next point this way I 
and that's all this method is called line division method and if you want to know how to do this properly you can click on this link at the top right corner of the screen now we we'll move forward now this is starting from here this is point zero this will be point one point two point three point four point five point six and what point seven so the zero is starting from a here right now the next thing is i'll take my compass let me bring this down a little bit and i'll take my compass place it at point a to point b in this manner you can see that And I'll draw an arc this way. You can see with the same radius, I'll come to back to the point A, and I'll do the same thing. You can see that now they are meeting at this point here, they're meeting here. Let me call that point point C where they meet. Now I'll draw a line from point A, from point C to pass through two. Right? I'll draw a line from point C here to pass through two. This point two here. You can see that? I'll draw it to pass through two. This way. Where it passed through two. And cut the circumference of the circle. I'll call it point D. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to join point D and A together. This way. You can see that. That will be the first side of the heptagon. So. With radius D, right? With radius D to A here. I'll mark around the circumference of the circle. So this is one side from this point. This will be the second side right this will be the third side all right we'll continue from here this will be the fourth side this will be the fifth side this will be the sixth side then the other third side will be the seventh side right so I'm going to do that round now. So we'll take my meter rule and my rule and I'll continue joining. So from here to here. Then from here to here. Then from here to here, then from here to here, then from here to here, then from here to here. Now this is our seven sides. So let's count and see. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven-sided polygon, which is called an heptagon. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, 
like comment and also share the video thanks for watching